Welcome back, everybody, to the DLC Dong Ming Cha podcast. Uh, I'm Gabriel. Hi, I'm Jerry. Uh, yeah, this is episode five of our podcast, and Cytus, our our third host, is not here uh, because uh, there was it's Typhoon Eight in Hong Kong and black rain for a while, right? Over the weekend. Yeah. Um. Actually, the weather is really, really bad, and um, a lot of places actually flooded and uh, had a lot of piping issues. Um, normally, that doesn't happen to Hong Kong, but I don't know why this time um, it has affected a lot of places. Mm -hmm. And um, it's actually ironic because how the Hong Kong Observatory did not do anything about it, and everyone still went to school and went to work. <laughs> And then everyone is just wet <laughs> and they're like barely surviving. They're like trying to swim to work and <laughs> everyone's just complaining. But um, the weather is really bad here and uh, it hasn't stopped raining for like three days straight, I think. Right. And, and to give some context, um, in Hong Kong, there are some, the Hong Kong Observatory give out these warning to the public as uh, safety measures uh, and they'll, uh, they'll put these warning signs on the news and on, you know, on their website saying, oh, the level of intensity of a typhoon coming or the level of of rainfall that they're experiencing. And uh, there there is yellow rain uh, and then red rain and then black rain. Black rain is the highest rainfall. And basically, if there's black rain, you can't go anywhere. Yeah. The government um, suggests that you stay home, stay where you are, stay put and don't leave. <laughs> don't even move. <laughs> right, don't even move. Exactly. And then, so what happened on Friday? Would you wanna? Do you wanna explain? So when you when you left, when everybody left for work in the morning, it was still yellow rain, I guess. Um, I guess that's something that's um very common that the Hong Kong government or the observatory does is they would lower the. <laughs> They would lower their standard and put it on like a yellow rain or like a typhoon free signal, mm -hmm. like very low, very low. And then once you get to work, like within like one hour, uh -huh. they would like boom, 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 raise up everything. So <laughs> um, I got to work at around nine, right? And mm -hmm. I think around 11, um, it just turned to like red rain. And then within 20 minutes, it turned to black rain. Right, right. And so just yeah, kinda... absolutely. <laughs> so you can't leave. You have to stay at work then. Right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Like even even if they do let us leave, which they did say, but like looking out the window, it's like there's no way <laughs> that we can leave. You can leave if you can. <laughs> right, and even if you try to call a cab or a taxi, uh -huh. there 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 wouldn't be any. Like there will be no public transportation. You're just stuck in middle of nowhere because insurance doesn't cover black rain or like uh ty like higher typhoon signals because it's dangerous right you shouldn't be working right right so yeah actually it's a problem because um some of my colleagues they they have children and once there is black rain or typhoon eight or above mm -hmm. uh the school will be like okay you guys can pick up your children because we're not gonna operate right so in, in in the middle of a black rain all the parents don't know what to do they're at work, they can't even move and they have to think of ways to pick up their children. So, right. um, yeah, I think no one, no one was happy <laughs> about the decision to not raise the, um, uh, the typhoon signals and, uh, yeah, uh, I, I don't know what to say. It was an absolute mess. Yeah. That seems very sketchy because, um, <clears throat> I saw a lot of, uh, Instagram stories or like posts of of people like just pictures out of the window you, there's zero visibility and they say oh it's typhoon 3 it's it's yellow yep. rain but you can obviously see with your eyes that it's it's way more severe than that so if the hong kong observatory's job is to warn people ahead of time and to inform the general public oh you should not go out because it's not safe and but they somehow like they lower uh we we conspire uh, the conspiracy is that they lower the the signal to where everyone can go to work and then keep <laughs> at work right right, so right. I feel like if that is the case if that was true that would be a really uh, shitty situation because then you basically you know some some people's lives are at risk right and you're basically not doing your job as as what you're supposed to do so um 
Yeah, I don't know what to say, man. Like such such a mess <laughs> that day, and um, on on Saturday where everyone is at a holiday, they easily flipped on Typhoon Eight. Oh wow! Like at, 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 at like six in the morning, cause no one is going to work <laughs> anyway. So why not? I put up Typhoon Eight when everyone is staying at home and no one is operating. Right. Um, so co- the conspiracy, I guess, is um, they would want people to work. Mm-hmm. And get get to work because one if if you stop for work for one day like Hong Kong is actually a financial hub so if they right. do stop those kind of operation it actually costs a lot of money mm-hmm. but um as you've said um uh, I I'm sure there are like standards that they set like how how they set how each they uh, level yeah. yeah how how do how they measure it but um. <clears throat> I I would say it's pretty irresponsible this time around because like going out, I know this is a black rain situation like mm-hmm. at the very morning, and uh, unfortunately, um, as you've seen on the news, uh, some construction worker actually did mm. uh, ran into an accident, and I think I'm not sure. Uh, I think one or two of them did uh, did had a fatal flaw because mm. uh, yeah. I think you saw the, the whole the whole the whole thing collapsing, right? Yeah, the scaffolding on the on the buildings collapsed, and it it was it was huge because Hong Kong always used the scaffolding for every single building that they build, and just to see it for I've never Absolutely seen it Absolutely collapsing ever. Yeah, oh yeah, life, that that's yeah. huge. Like, I, I I could never imagine that happening. Right, you can imagine the intensity of the rain. Right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah so. um, not 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 a good day for Hong Kong. <laughs> and uh, for our lovely host, Cytus, um <laughs> I think there was like a flood or something. Like all his sockets are wet. <laughs> oh my god! How do you even fix that? You, you need like electricity. I, I don't know. Get the water out. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, I I don't know because like those sockets, if you can see, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're all wet. Like I don't know how. <laughs> um, you got a technician coming right now, I think. Right. But uh. Uh, it's huge. Uh, I didn't expect a normal apartment to run into problems right, like this. Like, we we could never imagine it, right? right like Hong Kong is such it. an efficient con- like city, right? Mm. Oh, I almost said something. Yikes! <laughs> 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 Hong Kong is such a efficient city. You can right. never imagine these kind of stuff happening to us. Right, and exactly. if there are any issue, we get it resolved within a few hours or even a few days. You know. Mm. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. That that was a that was a long story for us to explain why Silas isn't here. <laughs> <laughs> um, to move on to our first topic that we, uh, I was gonna bring up. Um, did you watch the Squid Game? Ah, uh, funny you ask, because um, <laughs> I did, right. and uh, I I I I personally do not like sitting down and watching a show. Mm. Because I think that's extremely waste of time. Even my beloved anime, I used to. I, I mean, I still do. I watch it in times two speed. No, no. <laughs> Are you serious? Times two? I watch all my anime in times two oh speed because I just you disappoint I, I, me so I, much. I, I, I can't be bothered, man. You disappoint hey, you... me so much. <laughs> At least I didn't tell you I watched dub. <laughs> You no, no, I did. I, okay, no, okay, okay, you know, you know. Okay. <laughs> but, 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 um, what I'm trying to say is, um, I hate sitting down and watching a full episode. So you hate you, 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 you did finish it, right? I did, I did, I did, I did. Okay, so for me, because everyone was talking about it, I say, all right, I have to watch it, right? Because right. I have to go with the flow and right. be with the group. Right. Exactly. So when I went online, there's a great. YouTube channel of a uh, sci-fi movie recap. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what they do is they condense everything. <laughs> I was just where this is going. <laughs> and so they explain two episodes at a time in less than nine minutes. <laughs> So because oh, yeah. the because the show is very new, mm-hmm. 
um, it took them three days to finish nine shows oh, and wow. nine that's, episodes. That's actually very fast. Like so, what I did was every morning I wake up, I get my tea, I get my fruit, I get my breakfast, I sit down, and spend ten minutes watching mystery <laughs> recaps. And I finish a show in three days in less than an hour. <laughs> that's that's honestly impressive, because I did I did watch the show uh, after it finished airing. I I didn't want I the only reason well not the only reason the main reason why I wanted to watch it uh, is because I didn't want to get spoiled because I've heard so much good thing about it. I wanted to enjoy it to its fullest, and uh, I I definitely get that. Uh, the benefits of of you know watching all condensed version of it, but I think it's different if you uh, it's very different if you watch the whole thing. But yeah, I, I also watch it. Question, question. Yeah, what about going. times two speed? What about times two speed? Times two. What do you think? What do you think? It's, Can you better, imagine the flushing room? That's better than than the condensed things because sometimes you you catch stuff that people don't catch, right? That's the that's part of the whole fun. Um, oh, that's true, though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm gonna put spoiler alert. Spoiler alert everywhere. Ah, uh, you, are you gonna put it somewhere yeah, here? Yeah. Then don't. Okay, <laughs> skip to this time now. I, I... <laughs> if you don't want to listen to this. <laughs> and for our audio-only listeners, uh, we actually talked about Squid Game for the most of the podcast, and almost all of it contains spoilers. If you want to skip forward, you can skip forward to. Forty-six minutes and ten seconds for the parts without Squid Game spoilers. Thank you. No, what, 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 what were you gonna say before that, though? Um, I, I cut you off halfway. You forgot. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Oh, yeah, What's yeah, up? Yeah, yeah. So I did. Uh, whenever I watch TV shows or anime, I like to binge watch all of them. So I also finished Squid Game in three days. So our our timeline is almost the same. <laughs> But it took me a little, little bit longer. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, like I was saying, you can, you can find clues, um, that you would, would not in like a summary, unless they point it out, right? In a summary, if they point it out, like, oh, this guy is actually the bad guy or whatever, then you're like, oh, okay, yeah. Then you go watch the summary, um, with that in mind, right? But as a, if you watch the whole thing in its full length, even at two speed, um, you can, you can see little clues and like, oh. Is that guy? Is that guy gonna be that? Like the whole time, I, I watched it with one of my friends, uh, Dustin. Um, the whole time, I've I've been just telling him, "Oh, this guy's bad," or like, "Oh, this guy's actually the 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 mastermind," or, or "Oh, this guy's not gonna live." And then we we kind of guess like, "Oh, who's gonna be the the last, right?" Or whatever. And then when things happen, I, I remember there was one. Okay, big big spoiler here. Big spoiler. The the girl dies um at the end, right? And she was like on her death on on. I, I think she got stabbed and she was bleeding a lot and she was oh, oh I think it's here right oh no, no okay no no, no. see so no, not that yeah that is why she died at the end but leading up to it is that um on the previous game they actually they all three of them made it to the final platform but all the glass blew up and then one of the glass shards actually hit her in her abdomen oh then, yeah hey, hey I, I know this story I right, watched it right, too but then, I yeah, saw yeah. that <laughs> And then when she patched it up, when she patched it up, like in my mind, I'm like, oh, okay. At first, I was, I, I, I said that, oh, the girl's gonna win. And then yeah. when I saw that win, I'm like, okay, she's gonna die. Like I knew she was gonna of die. Of course, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But then she was getting worse and worse. I'm like, oh, here's, here's how she dies. She, here, here's how she dies. But they still managed to surprise me by, kind of like subverting our attention of that guy trying to save her and say, uh, asking for help. And then, oh, yeah. and then they open the door. You, you, you kind of expect them to help her, but they come yeah. in with a coffin, and then it's like, oh shit! How did she die? Did she die already? Like, how, did she bleed out already? But then you see that guy with the knife next to her. Like, holy yeah. shit! At that moment, that is something you can't experience in like a summary. I feel like, because I'm sure you don't, you you didn't have this build up. You didn't have this like you know something's gonna happen, but you don't know exactly how. And when it happens you're like holy fuck what the fuck right i agree with that yeah i think i think you have to live in the moment and enjoy the show mm. however i didn't have to fucking bother with that 
<laughs> okay, so um, you you were talking about like Easter eggs and stuff, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like little details. Sure. Okay, let me share another channel. So there's a <laughs> so there's a channel called New Rock Stars. I think it's oh, pretty wait. popular. Now. Was that the one who made things for Rick and Morty? Oh yeah, they they do yeah, everything. Oh, they do anything videos. like like Marvel, like TV shows, like just anything, right? Mm -hmm. uh, mainly Marvel actually. Now that I'm looking at it, but hey, they did one on Squid Game. Oh, they did. <laughs> yeah. When I watch that, I'm like, ah, I see. And then you experience I it. See. You experience it through them. <laughs> well, well, well <laughs> I did, I watch online uh -huh. in less than an hour. Right. And then wait, how long was it? I spent another ten minutes. <laughs> I get all the Easter eggs. <laughs> all right, fair enough. But then, yeah, okay. I mean, you know. I think a part a part of watching TV series is is also societal pressure, right? Because everybody's talking oh, yeah. about it. I'm watching. I'm not gonna sit. <laughs> how, how long is one episode? Uh, I think 45? it's like fifty minutes or something like that. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> oh, there is one episode. I think the second last episode was like thirty some minutes. It was shorter why? than usual. Uh, Ooh. I don't know. I don't know why. It, it, usually, in shows, the last episode is like two hours. Yeah, right? it's like super long, right? But I think I think actually. This Squid Game was uh, it was a good, it was a good length. Like sometimes. Story, oh yeah, nine episode. Yeah, nine episode and then one hour each. It's like nine hours or whatever. Uh, but sometimes, when when series, uh, when series go on for too long, it's like you're committed but you don't want to finish it. It's like ah, it feels like a drag. But then this was condensed enough, concise enough, right. and and it right. was a good amount of length. Even with anime, I feel like. A normal episode for anime is what twelve episodes or twenty four. Uh, uh, twelve for one season, twenty four for yeah. two, and usually the twenty four episode ones usually have an ending. Like right. they they wouldn't last till third season mm -hmm. if it's not popular enough or long enough. Mm -hmm. And and since I binge watch a lot of anime, um, I enjoy twelve uh, episode animes because I can just oh, binge watch course, yeah. it and then just forget about it. Uh, and for the longest time, I've been trying to finish Initial D. Oh my god! Oh no way! That's I so cannot, painful. I got to I think like season four or oh, something. Oh no way! And then, how how long is it? How 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 how? Uh, like I, don't I think it's like twenty four oh. episode each. So, oh no! That's like watching JoJo. Yeah. Oh my god! But but JoJo was worth it. I I, I feel like watching all JoJo episodes. It's like getting initiated to this world of meme that's just jojo memes oh yeah 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 definitely yeah, yeah. like jojo is like a different class <laughs> of anime it's just a huge fuck fest right right, right. but but it's like an orchestrated fuck fest yeah 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 absolutely amazing anime but uh i i, I totally agree with that like um personally i think 24 episode with a definitive end is my type of anime mm -hmm. like i would not want it to have a second season. Mm -hmm. Some of my favorite animate, uh, I think all of my favorite animates are 24 episodes. Mm -hmm. Or maybe like two seasons. 24, right. 24. Like maybe like Darker Than Black, there is like two seasons, right? And two OVA. Yeah. And like Guilty Crown is 24. Uh, Steins Gate is 24. Oh, like, all of yeah. them are well, like Steins classic. Have a, have a, what, zero? Oh yeah, that's or... that's twenty four as well. Or, or do correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, twenty four of twelve, oh. but again, perfect anime, perfect length. Mm, okay. So yeah, that's the holy grail for me, and I hate anime that just stop midway. <laughs> there are so many. Yeah, like the end of a cliffhanger. It's like no game, no life. They never came back. Like since two. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They never did. Why is that? I, I, thought, I still I don't know what's did, up. I thought it did really well, didn't it? It's such a great anime. It's yeah. great. I, I I don't so many. There's so many anime like that. Yeah. So okay, back to Squid Game. So at the end, it they kind of left us on a cliffhanger, because um the main character tries to get on the plane and then obviously he did it. Oh, he walked he, back. Yeah, he walked back, right? And so that is kind of like a cliffhanger. Do you think uh season two would be better? Like where where else could it go? Right? Is he gonna try to just expose the rest of the society? Or how 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 are they gonna like put a twist on it that still captivates our attention? 
I actually don't don't know what he, uh, there's nothing he can do, right? Right. Like what can he do? Well, okay. Like so... all his all, all, all his friends are dead. Right. The main the main boss is dead. Right. That there's still the organization, right? But mm-hmm. um, I I don't think there's much he can do. He's he's just one person. But now versus he's like five billionaires. But now he's a right? billionaire as well, or, or whatever. But 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 those people are like much richer than him, right? Mm, the people true. behind the program. That's true. So I I literally can't think of anything that he could do, or the maybe thing... work with the policeman's uh, brother, right? Right. The, the only guys thing do he alive, can right? do is is like you said, oh, but the policeman's brother died, right? Or oh, what, did he? I yeah, forgot. he did. Did the did the summary oh, shit. Tell you? Uh, yeah, it was too fast for me. It was too fast for me. I couldn't catch it. Did you two you extra know what? summaries? <laughs> I did. Oh my god! You couldn't even give it. You couldn't even give it four minutes. You had to finish it in two minutes. It was nine minutes. I kind of time to finish. Oh my god! You know, it, it, that, oh, you know what? That's actually such a funny point, right? Yeah. Like, I, I, I was like, all my colleagues are watching this uh, show, right? Mm. And there was one colleague that was like watching it uh, every lunch. Mm. So we would like go 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 to her, her desk and we were like, oh, oh, just standing there. Oh yeah, that guy's gonna die. Right? <laughs> 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 so so um, we we were all like gathering around the computer watching that uh, scene in the first night where they slept, mm. like uh, where the light is flashing. Mm. And then I'm like, yo, this is so stupid. Because that's the only time they flash, right? Wait. You know what I mean? What the flashing mean? light? Uh-huh. They turn on and off the light, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah to cause chaos. And, 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 and yeah, they cause chaos. But yeah. that's the only time they flash the light. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They never did it again. <laughs> yeah, they never did it again. I'm like, why, why would they even do that in the right. first place? Like, what? Right. Like, like and, 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 and then my, my colleague misunderstood me. She thought that... Uh, I was saying the light only flashed once. Oh. Because I watch those recaps and it goes so fast. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, of course for you, it only flashed once. You watch so fast. <laughs> I'm like, nah, it flashed oh. twice, baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, but, um, yeah. yeah, but, um, again, this show, um, I think... There are too many spoilers, to be honest. Mm. I, even on Instagram, the memes are going crazy. Right, exactly. And I, I think you do. Yeah. inherently, <clears throat> people want to spoil... Oh, okay. People want to share their experience, right? They want to tell... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and by sharing that experience, there's no way you can't spoil. Like, you can't spoil something without really talking about it. Right? Yeah. Because those are, like, the best uh- parts. I think no, there's like so many iconic memes now. The the sugar candy yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. In, in in like a vagina shape, <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like and then it's like the memes where it's like hey, how long are you gonna play games for? And then it's the old man in the corner hugging himself. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so many good games. I mean, so many good memes. Right, and and you and, have um, to watch it. You have to watch it to get it. So, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. That's but right, uh, that's I, 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 I also respect the people that try to share these memes discreetly. Yeah. Like, you, if you don't watch the show, you won't get it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But like memes that are like, oh, this this person is gonna die or something like that. Right, like, those are like bad memes. A bit too obvious. Like, of course, I know they're gonna die because like that's the concept of the game. Right. Right. Um. I think one of the biggest spoiler for me is uh, on Instagram is probably the in the Pakistan or Indian dude. Yeah, the Pakistani dude. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that was the biggest spoil because every every Instagram post is like how how good guy don't make it alive, right. you know? Uh, right. Shit. Yeah. Of course. I and it's always that scene when he's like lost, like oh where's where are you yeah, brother? Yeah. Brother. Yeah. And it's like every <laughs> single Instagram meme is that guy. Like uh, like that scene in particular, brother. And then brother. the and then the rocks. <laughs> yeah, I think do you, um, do you think uh social media helped make this series bigger well big as big as it is because it is like netflix's biggest uh series of all time across across all 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 countries or whatever 
Okay, let's not let's not put that as a fact because I don't know if that's a fact. <laughs> let's do it biggest show on Netflix. Yeah, biggest show on Netflix. Okay, we <laughs> say that. Yeah. Ten, ten, twenty-one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, definitely. This show is huge because of social media. Um. I think uh, I've talked about this uh, yesterday with you guys. Mm. This concept of like a survival game mm. for money is not new. Mm. A lot of anime have this concept. Mm -hmm. I think we talked about that yesterday. And uh, a lot of uh, older TV shows and movies also have that concept, mm -hmm. especially in Japan, because that's a huge genre for them mm -hmm. to like explore the explore people's uh, inner desire and uh and how far no, they're going to, to yeah how far they're gonna go for money like that's something that the japanese always dealt with right like i don't like there are so many anime like this i can't think of one out of my head i think we talk about like kenji or something the gambling mm -hmm. one and then there was like the prison one where they dealt with blood what? it's also yeah, like if you lose the game, you lose a body part. That one. Oh, I I, I don't wait. Is it Danganronpa? Well, I mean Danganronpa is kind of the same, right? right but but right. it's not money. You just survive, okay, okay. right? So is that, uh, yeah, yeah, like, like that's so, there's so many examples. Survival game, survival game right, genre exactly. is huge, that's why... and they usually it's usually like they find a bunch of poor people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, it's like Saw, right? Or yeah, or, or, uh... people, or or. Kinda. What is it's kinda like so, but you don't yeah. you survive if you're is your right like um, a survival like final game, prize game. That's what that's what it's called. And yeah, yeah. I think watching the Squid Game did remind me of a lot of like anime trope. Anime, definitely. Yeah, exactly. yep. And and like it felt very comfortable because we watch so many anime, and and this is the format that we kind of know, right? So I feel like that. Yep. It's very nice to see that being reflected in like TV shows. And um, yeah, and, and social media definitely helped it because I watched it because I didn't want to get spoiled on social media. Oh yeah, yeah. Def definitely. Oh, and it was spot two. I'm thinking of oh, where where two. where oh, you know I you know which one I'm talking about. Yeah, I do, I do, I do. Yeah, they put a bunch of guys in like an island, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, they like, use explosions. Yeah, or yeah. It's like the concept is so. <laughs> so 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 overdone already in right. Japan. So uh, I'm not, surprised. Not done on. Netflix, so nor 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 the international audience. Yep, yep. I think I think there's a few aspects to this. Um, I think it's the uh, Korean hype, mm. uh, where everyone is jumping onto K-pop and want to learn more about the Korean culture. Mm -hmm. So they, people are already comfortable with the idea of watching foreign uh, uh, movies and uh, uh, Korean dramas. Mm -hmm. And also another thing is just Netflix. Um, it, it goes out to a lot more of uh, international audience. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely helped. Um, but again, the director actually pitched this topic for uh, over 10 years mm -hmm. and uh, no one listened to him. No one picked it up. Or Yeah, no one picked it up un until now. So um, if you think about it, 10 years ago, Japan is already doing this, right? With like the oh, I forgot the I only know the Cantonese name is Got Wong Yao Hei. It's like the King's Game or something mm -hmm. like that, where they the scenario is in a classroom and the king get to decide whatever to do with the people. Like the oh, yeah. like whoever wins get to decide on the rules. Like like similar concept like this have been going on for decades. So mm -hmm. I definitely see where this uh, movie is inspired. Uh, so yeah, um, internet definitely helped, and uh, I, I I think I still enjoyed it because uh, the performance is absolutely amazing. Right. The your, the your... the main character is so good. The villain is so good, and the girl is actually the the um, what was the word? Um, the aura that she gives out mm. uh, was a very. Very, very attractive yeah. yeah very yeah. attractive i guess yeah it's, it's special it's not just a pretty girl it's like mm. a special type of girl i don't, I don't know how right. to say it but and yeah it, it, i think you're looking for like it, it's like a very aggressive like trope uh that's normally yep. not seen in like a typical 
uh, I say Western series or something like that. Like you want to see, yeah. You would see like strong, independent women, but she's like strong and independent because of for survival. Out to kill, you know? Yeah, yeah right. It's either you or her, and she's not gonna yep. go down, you know. So I think that's. I I really liked her performance as well. It, it's, yeah, it's like it's very different than than what we would see in normal, uh, TV series. So, yeah. yeah, and um, I think the amount of Easter egg, if you go to, what was the channel again? World something? If New you World. go to New Rockstar, you can get all the, t- <laughs> all the Easter eggs. And I think they did uh, give that the justice that they deserve because there were a lot of Easter eggs within that movie. Because mm-hmm. uh, like even the first game where the machine was turning around, you see that it was highlighting all the people and Except the old man the... was not highlighted, right? Yeah, like yeah. like something like that. Like when, when the brother was checking on the um, document files and they see that, oh, the uh, on this year, the first person is not included. It just mm-hmm. jumped right to number two and stuff like that. Like this, um, I think the director did put a lot of thought into it. Mm-hmm. And oh, also, um, the main character of the of the show actually asked the director, "It's like, hey, uh, how funny do you want my character to be, right? Because mm-hmm. he can't just portray a guy that wants money and greed, because um, audience wouldn't like it. Right. So um, the director actually not 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 real last minute, but he set up a few scenes mm-hmm. that make the audience love the character, mm-hmm. uh, like like the cat scene." Where he was just playing with the stray cat, the cat. Uh, uh, yeah, he was like feeding the cat, right? Oh, in the beginning, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, he, he, the the director actually tried to make the character more lovable, right? Mm-hmm. And 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 so that the audience could like empathize with him and actually really like get into him and root for him throughout right. the whole process. Right. Yeah, I think the main character was really well made because you feel really bad for him. Because he just yep. had bad luck after bad luck after bad luck. And... I mean, it's an addiction, uh, addiction, right? Right. No, but I mean, yeah. even though, yes, he got in this position because of his gambling addiction, but it was because of luck that at the end of the day, he got into the game, right? Because he got uh, robbed by the girl and then uh, he got beat up. And then, you know, like if he didn't have this bad luck, he may have like, you know, climbed himself out of the hole. But, you know, there's his addiction there. But I think, yeah, you still feel very bad for him because it's like bad luck after bad luck. And then with the game where his, when they did the sugar thing, um, you know how they're like, oh, let's form a team. And then, but the, the, the brother, the Hyung, he said, oh, let's split up. But if he knew ahead of time what game that was, wouldn't it make more sense to stick with the team? Because you have, I know his, his whole, his whole, um, trope is oh i i should eliminate people uh now so that i can ensure my survival right but that is still so early on in the game wouldn't you want to even if you you know that you're going to betray these people why don't you keep them around as a teammate first and say like oh i know this game is it's going to be the 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 pin thing so let's all go to triangle or something why would he let his teammate go to the umbrella and the star that's kind of that's kind of dumb to me i don't know that's hard to say because um, maybe that's just he he just want to really get an advantage and I I, I don't think he want to um, involve too much emotion. Mm-hmm. Uh, but but at the same time he did befriend that Pakistan dude right. Yeah. But um, I don't know like um, maybe he just that's that's the thing like I I think the villains are, all, are actually very well made as well mm-hmm. it's just greedy and very desperate for yeah. uh, fame and his fame and his ego right mm-hmm. so he would do anything to win the money but yeah so do you think you will be able to survive the squid game um no I don't think so <laughs> but uh at the same time uh, actually I was going to ask you the same question right mm-hmm. but um. I want to ask you is um you remember that scene where they they're like trading marbles? Yeah, yeah. And and at the end the uh, old man actually got dementia and like kind of like messed Wandered it up. Off. That guy, yeah, that guy was like he only got like one marble left, right? Uh-huh. In that scenario, I don't know about you, but 
Uh, it's so hard because I, I, I when, when I was watching that three, <laughs> the three minutes, that, that three minutes, <laughs> I was thinking to myself, it's just gamble, right? Mm -hmm. If I lose, I rather die honorably and give my chance to that old man than mm -hmm. to take advantage of his dementia and lose like like uh and maybe not even live later on you know what i mean like like i i see what you mean maybe, maybe i'm just too honest but I, yeah. I i i think i would go on with the game and see if i win you know what i mean yeah like and not cheat like not yeah and not, and not and not cheat and take advantage of a man i think I think I would have done the same, uh, honestly, because it's if it's life or death, right? And mm. especially, I know that this old man, he told me that he has a tumor in his head. Oh, he's gonna die anyway, right? right? So yeah, I know like, what you mean, right? So it's like you know what? It is scummy that I'm doing this, but I think, yeah, I would take into consider consideration that oh, he's on his way out anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> but, but um. I think that's what the director, the storyteller, mm -hmm. did very well. Was uh, at the end, the old man was like, "I know yeah, you're cheating, it. like, yeah, dude." Yeah, you're. Re that that, I mean, for Holy for crap. for me, like, uh, that would haunt me for the rest of my yeah, life. That would, I, I would feel so bad. Me too. Like, I can't believe I took advantage of an old man and actually got him killed because of my own. Yeah, but I I am gonna die. Like yes, that's a justification. But yeah, yeah, <sighs> this hard because I I I would want to say that I would um continue and not take advantage of the old man. But at the same time, maybe I would have to wait until I play that game and <laughs> actually be in that scenario to tell you definitively. Yeah, I I think that. Yeah, a lot of things you you say you would do one thing, but when it actually right. happens, you know you you really can't control yourself. But that's how you feel, or that's how your your brain is wired. Uh, but I I think f for sure I think I yeah I would I would I would take advantage of him because like I said, the, given the circumstances, he knows that I have like line, things on the line. But and then he knows that he has like brain tumor, so I I feel like he would understand why I'm this desperate to to live right and uh you know if when when but when he told him revealed that oh was it fair for you to to lie to me it's like holy shit like oh that's so i, feel, I, I would feel so bad. it's like getting caught like stealing or some shit and then it's like holy shit like your gut just sinks i even felt yeah. like just watching that and then oh my god it would be the worst feeling ever but then it I, would it would but then i would tell him like oh you I'm sorry, but uh, I want to live or something like that, you know. Yeah, that's so fucked up, yeah. man. But then, yeah, but then it was, and actually, it's funny because right after that scene, they kind of like he they killed him off like off screen, right? He was still in the room and he yeah, walked yeah, out. Yeah, and then there the first no thing, blood, right? Yeah, the first thing I said, okay, he's alive. If they don't show it, he's alive <laughs> for sure. There's no way. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you you already got the memes on the yeah. On no, the no, no, I didn't. Yeah, I think you know, right? I, I didn't you know. Don't? So I go in. I no went and didn't way. know. I predicted it for sure. I predicted. No it. way! I you told Dustin. I was like, he's alive. Man. He has to be the master. You did not predict that. I I Everyone I knows. <laughs> no I didn't know. I really did. didn't know because I I watched it uh like right when it finished. It took me three days to watch it right after that, and then. Oh yeah, yeah, it, sure yeah. it did. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm not gonna believe that. Bullshit. All right, all right. You know, it's up Bullshit. to you. Bullshit. Believe me. <laughs> no way. That 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 was another theory. That was uh like, um, the old man and the main character is actually father and son. Oh. Oh, there was this theory that's oh, just okay, going okay. around because the old man was uh, really taking care care of the um. The main protagonist and um mm -hmm. yeah I, I don't know how valid that reasoning was but at the same time if the uh if they if the old man did not give them tips and stuff like that like they wouldn't survive too yeah, that long you know what i mean right yeah and and also like when i said the blinking thing the the first night mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
the old man called the stop. That's why they stopped. Oh, that's why they stopped it. <laughs> They're like, no, let's stop this killing too many people. And they're like, oh shit, sorry, boss. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, w okay. If you do, you think, do you think this exists in our real world? Do you think this would be something possible that rich people are just way too bored, nothing can satisfy them, and they just find poor people to to play a death game? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean. Oh yeah, I can imagine that happening somewhere in the world where yeah. there are just people that are too rich and have a bit Feels of psychotic mindset. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I mean, we've been on the dark web, <laughs> and I uh, get some onion actions, oh, no. and uh, some stuff, stuff, and um. I, 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 I think we can leave it to another day to go to a <laughs> deep dive on those conspiracy theories. But um, sure, sure. if you know, there are a lot of missing people that no one actually bothered to go find. And mm -hmm. uh, especially in America, if you look at the map of missing people, mm -hmm. it's actually kind of the same as the underlying tunnel of the whole America. So oh. where, where, where people are missing is actually exactly where all the tunnels start and ends. Oh, wow. It's actually messed up. But <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely something that will happen. I mean, it's like, have you have you watched Taken? Taken, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah the With first Liam episode, Neeson? it's the same. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it, I, 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 I don't want to antagonize any Europeans, but... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> shit happens, you know. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they might rob you, like, uh, and people are like, what, searching for like virgins and stuff, like, and, and taken. Yeah. Because yeah. the daughter was a virgin, like mm. that's messed up. But oh yeah, definitely something like that would happen. Mm. But, but not on this, not in the in the sense of the Squid Game, right? Because the the things you're talking about is like abduction, like people who are. You know, just normal people or whatever. But these in the Squid Game, they actually target people that um, have nothing going on in their life, right? They're in debt. They are, you know, maybe they have no relatives, no friends, and they're just scraping by day to day life. And the whole reason is that they came back the second time around is because they went back out and they came back and, and outside is actually worse than in here. They're gonna die outside anyway, so that's why they came back in, right? Um, mm, so yeah, but not 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 if you win. Like you know, the mastermind was uh one of the winners, right? Oh really? Oh wait, oh the, yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the mask guy, yeah, the, the the black okay, mask okay, guy. Okay, He's yeah, like yeah, one yeah. of the winners, right? Yeah, like, so yeah. he chose to come back and help the this program. Like, I don't know mm -hmm. what's the reasoning behind it, but um, yeah, like. But of course, I, I still believe that there are messed up people that would capture people. Maybe not to this organized... Um... So it's not as a humane, you're saying? No, this is not humane. No, it's no, still... It's still sense... I, I, think, I think it will be worse. Right, I think right. it will be worse. Right. It, it will be... Maybe... Mm. Or whatever, you know? Like, oh, those... You need to censor all those, by the oh, way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I just... I just... I, I didn't. I didn't think. I just <laughs> don't get us learned. Don't get us flagged by YouTube. I just guess I know for definitively those three words are. I mean, the R word is definitely right. like captured is that, fine. That's like, captured is fine. <laughs> oh yeah, but like oh yeah, the R word is definitely yeah, off limits. Yeah. Well, what what were I gonna say? Yeah, yeah, right. But um, it would be less organized and mm. uh, it would just be pure torture. I think. Right, and I say and I say less humane because it's. In, in the Squid Game, they're, they're providing this moral dilemma that it's like, oh, it is their choice to come in here to risk their life to get this. So it's like in a humane, in a sense, it's humane because they give them a choice when they have no choice, I guess. But then in, in, in your cases, they, they have no choice to begin with. They didn't tell them that they're going to die. They did say at execute it. Oh, they did? I, yeah. I don't remember. Said, it was too fast. Oh, no, 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 to not free executed. It. Eliminated. That was the wording. Eliminated. Yeah, it's like oh, players will be eliminated. See? Yeah, that's hard, man. Yeah, yeah. You see? Actually, when I... I think because we, we know the premise of the story. When they said... Of course they do. Eliminate, I'm like, oh, okay. That's, that, that means that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But, but, yeah. Yeah. But, but again, like, um... 
what, were, what was I gonna say? Um, it's their choice, and mm. I, I, I'm not. Sh- Maybe they're like so, so broken and desperate already. So why not just kill themselves throughout this game? Cause like, one of the girls, like the one that's very close to the female right. protagonist, he, she, she just chose to kill herself, right? <laughs> So, I was so yeah. sad. I was so sad that um, because she keep on saying, "Oh, let's let's do this when we get out of here," and it's like, "Bruh, you're gonna die." Yeah, how do you how do you get out of there, man? Yeah, it's so yeah. I, I don't know. I think, and even there was a couple. Um, oh, yeah, he killed his wife. Yeah, and then and then he killed himself. So, it in that sense, shouldn't they if they yeah shouldn't they yeah. just die together in the marble anyway? Because then it's like, oh, let's. Let's not have a winner, and then it, time is up. Then they both die, right? Because they they can't they can't go on anyway. I don't know, but I guess yeah, um, that's that's what the brother the Hume guy said was yeah, like, yeah, hey, yeah. this is your choice that you picked your wife, and it's your choice that you killed her. You know, you get you got her killed. You know? Yeah, yeah. You you could die together, but you choose to right sacrifice your wife instead of like yeah. Mm-hmm. So that justifies it, I guess. But um, still unfortunate. Yeah. Great show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, three minutes. Uh, guys, go to New Rockstar to check out the <laughs> Easter eggs. <laughs> uh, we we talked about how social media spread the Squid Game, right? So. Yep. In a sense, in in that sense, um, social media is very good at advertising stuff and do you think social media is inherently good for society um wow that's a deep topic that i think scientists would love to add it to <laughs> into this uh, yeah, sh- this high Okay, okay, let me... Okay. Yes, yes, and, yes and no. Right. I think that's the answer everyone would give. Is right, yes it's, a no. very, it's a very... It, it, it must make everything spread a lot faster. We're getting information um, ever, ever so quickly. And mm-hmm. um, yeah, but at the same time, you're so hooked into social media. And there are so many good memes and news out there mm-hmm. that you're just on your phone forever, right? Like even for me, I think average time on instagram for me is like one hour you know that's mm-hmm. insane you spend one hour of your day on right. instagram looking at memes and sometimes talking with your friends you know and and news and gundams or whatever that's mm-hmm. on my page and puppies and kittens and cute <laughs> stuff to make me happy but yeah um but at the same time you waste I wouldn't say you're wasting your time though Mm -hmm. because you are learning something and a lot of my Instagram or Facebook stuff are informative stuff Mm -hmm. like even if it's useless information it's still informative like new rock star the (laughs) breakdown you guys go check it out (laughs) but yeah there are a lot of informative stuff that you can learn on uh, social media Mm -hmm. but uh, yeah it's good and bad and it's hard to justify it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I definitely agree that it's it can it can be good and can be bad. Um, I think last week there was a outage for Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram. Uh, basically, Facebook servers were down, and they they I, I don't think they actually came out with a reason why. Uh, but for you guys, I think you guys were all asleep, so you didn't experience it. <laughs> I didn't know what, what was happening. <laughs> right. So here, when when I woke up, so that day coincidentally, I had a. Wi-Fi outage uh, the night no before, way. and then they said that oh they're gonna fix it by 11 a.m. and I I work from home and I thought I had to drive into the office because I have no Wi-Fi right. But I woke up earlier that day. I checked. I'm like oh there is Wi-Fi. Nice. So I went back to sleep, and I woke up again for to to actually go to work. Um, my WhatsApp was down. I'm like oh shit what, like is there no Wi-Fi? And then I was panicking and I was you know unplugging replugging my my Wi-Fi, and it turns out. It was out from Facebook, so I just I was panicking for like half an hour, getting just trying to get to work <laughs> for my for my Wi-Fi to get working, and then I, I was almost late to my meeting. But yeah, uh, that freaked me out because of the outage. Um, but other than that, I think uh, it was pretty funny seeing uh, 
Instagram go down and Facebook because everybody just flocked to Twitter and Twitter oh, came no out with way. a tweet and said like hello everybody and that is like super popular because everybody's social media yeah. is down yeah. so the next thing is Twitter so I found that really funny that Twitter took this opportunity and just kind of like dominated the social media for, for like four hours or whatever um, I actually don't have a Twitter I mean I did set it up mm-hmm. but there's nothing on there because right I just don't don't use it. Um, yeah, I, I don't. Maybe I don't use... maybe if the podcast does go bigger, Ooh. maybe I'll go back into Twitter, but probably not. But uh, <laughs> that night, well, what was the time frame? Um, it was of the outage. It was like nine or uh, eight a.m. to like actually, it was more than four hours. It got back. At oh, four like hours! So, such a short, such a short period of time. Though. So it, it's like 2 p.m. Your, your midnight to your five a.m. morning. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. To be honest, that's not a long time, right? Yeah, it's not very. Really, but people, well, people, people middle, are just memeing it. It's in the middle of the workday, or oh, middle of the day, right here in the states. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But at the same time, if they resolve the problem at two, I I don't think that's an issue because well, um two on the west coast. So it's like five at the East Coast. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Yeah. So it's like ten to five at the like, East yeah, Coast. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Or like it's like twelve mm. to five. Cause for me, it was pretty relaxing. Cause there's no message when I wake up. I was like, whoa, <laughs> no one is talking. What's up? Right. That was so weird. Like, there, there was only like you know our friend group is like half America, half Hong Kong, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But no one is talking. There's like two that's ships. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's no no way our friends won't talk there, right? Right. And there's like no Instagram message. Yeah. Except for like one live on, on some kind of like doggo site, you know? <laughs> but yeah, um it did not <laughs> affect us at all. Uh I, I fell asleep at like eleven. Right. Woke up at seven. Mm-hmm. Good day. I woke up, everything was working. <laughs> did not affect me but uh, i looked at the stock price everything was down i don't i don't oh, hate man. it as much but i <laughs> i yeah don't know don't know about that <laughs> yeah. uh we will talk about stocks on another time and i think we're we're ending we're getting to almost an hour here um it sounds good do you have anything to add um i got a new webcam it is true and we I do, got a new webcam. We do want to apologize for uh, oh, previous yeah, episodes sorry, guys. audio. Uh, we're, we're obviously not prof- professionals, but we, we will try our best. We, we, we try yeah. our audio this time, and then we'll make sure every time that the audio is crisp so, and good. Yeah, it's actually such a shame because uh, last week's topic was so interesting to mm. all three of us. Mm-hmm. We put in so much love and our own experience and and our own deepest desire yeah. into that topic <laughs> and the quality of it was so bad <laughs> like the audio quality okay i just want to say that uh Cytus got a new mic mm-hmm. that was the first time he's using that mic so there were a lot of echoes which uh i think he fixed it right now and for me i was using a crappy earphone mm-hmm. And I don't know, for some reason, I was using my phone's audio. Yep, yep. My my phone's mic. I So every time I move around, <laughs> the volume would go higher and lower and <laughs> higher. And, and just like, it was so bad. I wasn't moving so much because right. I was so hyped in that, in, in that episode. And yeah, um, <laughs> I, 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 I hope you guys still um, went in and listened to it, but it, it was a very very fun episode and if you guys do want us to um talk more about relationship and stuff like that uh, do let us know mm-hmm. we're happy to uh, go back into that topic and revisit it because um that audio quality was too poor yep yep <laughs> <laughs> but uh you guys also have to understand that we have to beat the algorithm yeah and we have to keep posting every week in order for uh good old facebook to acknowledge us so yeah um thanks everyone for joining yep don't forget to like the video share it out to your friends and hit the notification button yes and uh, we will uh see you next week
We will see you next week. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye.